All right, welcome back to Black Lodge Trivia Night, doing more Elden Ring. Um, last time we made some real progress. I finally got the map section for this area here. And did some exploration. There was something, though, I was missing. I thought... I don't know if it's right around here. There was sort of like a, a one of those air bridges, I think. Oh, no, it was probably around here to get to this section. Just wanted to check that out really quickly before I moved on. So I... What you're watching here is how I play these games. First time through, I do my best, but I do it on my own. I don't Google too much. I did obviously Google one thing because I was just having so much... So many issues trying to figure out. Can I jump in? I was, I was just having issues figuring out where to go next, which. So I got a little bit of a nudge, but. Um, I am definitely missing a lot of things. Can I just. So I cheesed that guy before. I don't want to deal with that again. But I thought there was like a... Uh... I thought I... You know what? Uh, let me... Um... Okay. You can't see this because obviously... I am looking at something else on my screen. It wasn't up here. I, I did a screen grab of roughly where it was. I think it's down here by this bridge. So let me... head back down. And it made me realize like, I should have been... This is the whole point of what I was getting at. I should have been using more map markers. I've been using map markers to tick off things that I've completed so I know I don't have to go back there like dungeons I need to use them more across the map to mark things like hey here's oh, that's gonna wreck me 41,000 it's not too bad um, it's just gonna mark off things that I need to go back to like at one point you know there was a I got sidetracked a couple sessions ago by one of those error jumps, and I never went back to see that I missed an entire path to get me to... Yeah, it's right around here, so why can I not find it? So I need to do better about that, because some of the things that I missed, I actually... Maybe saw a few of it, a few parts of it, and just never... That's the bridge, so where's... Anyway, I thought it was around here. It's not the end of the world if I don't see it, I was just kind of... Oh, there it is, okay. I just want to see where this goes. Does it just take me back up to another... Oh, let's get in those ruins. There we go. Secret ahead.
Is this it? For this level. There we go. Chest. Utility ahead, but try up. Okay. Because in a world this big, there's a couple things. Is there a way to get over there? I was about to say, in a world this big, like, you know, when you miss a ledge or something, and that can open up. Or, you know, yeah, like open up a whole area. Or like when... You know, I finally found out how to get down to that jar town. It was, you know, now, granted, they... It's, it's, it's usually more clearly marked in terms of geography. Why is it always a bird? Okay. Divine Bird Warrior Ornus, very nice. That's the tough guy down below. But like, uh, you know, for instance, so what I do, like, you know, when I started by saying, you know, I, I do this first on my own. I did. Catacomb I was doing last time, not the Ruined Forge. Uh, the one, I forget which one it is. It was the one that had like the, the creatures with the death eyes that would sort of float down the corridors. There was a bunch of stuff I missed there. I think there's a bunch of stuff I could probably still do here, but I, I think it's here. What is this? Um, and sometimes it's because I come at these in weird angles. Like I come at it from the other side for the first time. Uh, so usually what I do, yeah, I, I sort of take a look at an area entirely on my own first. And then I see what I can do. And then eventually I'll go back and go like, holy God, did I miss everything? And I'm, I'm realizing that a lot. But that, but I live with it. I stick with it. That's, uh, Now the question is, can I get down? Or do I have to just... Teleport back. Okay, so the question in front of me is... Temple Town Ruins, that's sort of where I was headed last time. Sort of parked myself on the outskirts of that and then just got sidetracked double checking. So let's see how it goes. Looks like this is going to be a bit of a self contained mini level of sorts. Maybe not a full Stormvale castle, but. Okay, so they're giving me the option to go with the summon, so let's see. That's your classic, uh, Souls Ambush. That's your classic 
people were minding their own business and you murder them anyway. Now, one thing I did realize, you know, some video popped up like, you know, I'm rocking a faith build. So I was like, oh, what are some of the faith weapons of um, the DLC? Something I totally forgot about, because again, I haven't played this in so long and et cetera, et cetera. One of the weapons I was using for a while was the massive black steel great hammer. And, you know, it scales okay with faith. But I forgot that weapons like this, usually you can swap out their, uh, their special move. So whatever it is that I am have on it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's not doing it for me too much. I miss having the option of, you know, my katana's holy magic spell, whatever. Uh, I can just go switch that. And that might make that hammer way more viable of a weapon. I don't know if I have to go back to the round table hold. But at some point I should go take a look at that. Once I take a hit, then I have to murder everybody because that's how I can replenish my HP without using flasks. So. That's not a good reason. I don't know what one is. Like, I think one of the things I stumbled across in that faith weapon thing is that um, there's something here, maybe, that I might have missed. Like, a huge... Basically, it's one of those things where I was just talking about. Like, if you miss a ledge, that can unlock a huge thing. Oh, I felt bad about that as soon as I saw him drop down.
Because I think sometimes just by coming out of place through the sort of intended, you know, you have like this path taking to the entrance of the castle, and then of course I immediately deviate from it. But sometimes I feel like the level designers might put something in that path just to say, hey, like, hey, this is something you might want to take a peek at or something, you know, just give you some idea of where to start. And then I'll come at it sideways because that's just sort of how I do these things and uh, miss that first pointer and then have that cascade into missing a lot of things. Whoops. We'll also say, though, I don't know. I'm never going to be the kind of person that does my first playthrough with, like, the walkthrough right there. Because then, you know, what was the... There's no... For me, at least, no sense of accomplishment for the exploration that I did. I just sort of appreciate that I'm never going to get it perfect by a mile. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything obvious or egregious from hopping on the walls. Okay. So I'm still trying to get into the church. Nope, I don't need to do that. Church proper. Hit this guy to help refill my mana pool. I feel like this isn't helping me get into the main... I think it's this path. I just need to figure out how to get up. Okay, so here's a little... I'll be damned if there isn't a way past the wall. See, that feels... like a developer message. That doesn't look like... Oh, I thought the sword went through the wall there for a second. First off, ahead. trick to come down from above? It seems like a hell of a drop. Maybe not necessarily a good reason, but another reason why I'm killing a lot of these things is because it helps me... It's like a trail of breadcrumbs where you learn and remember where you've been already. There we go.
All right, let's stay low for a minute just to make sure we haven't. Missed anything down here? So this is environmental storytelling of a sense, right? And this is sort of the magic that makes up the Souls game. The Souls series, Bloodborne, the whole thing. I don't I can't speak to Sekiro, but um, it's just these little moments where you have a spirit next to a particular corpse. It doesn't take any interest in you. Uh, and the Souls games are not the only ones that do this kind of environmental storytelling. But I feel like Souls games, because they spoon feed you so little... It encourages you to have these moments to stop and appreciate them for what they could be. And now on to murdering everyone else. And that's part of why I love these games, you know, like. And Elden Ring has done this elsewhere, like, you know, you, there was like um, down where Melania is. There's like graveyards where soldiers are just sitting there despondent next to graves of the fall and they're like. I was going to say, that feels like a trap. I didn't know that they could disappear like that. Maybe that's not normal. But yeah, like that graveyard had soldiers that just sort of like, you know what, I'm done. Or the way... You know, the final boss of Dark Souls is like a, a slow to step. Down required ahead. Sure, okay, but could this be water slide? Sure. Whoops. Uh, what I was looking for, though, was a way to get to that level. See if there's another approach that won't take me off the try. Oh yeah, I was about to say, can I get on my horse here? Is it better from one side or the other? It looks like it's got to be this side. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, Visions of Butterfly, Giant. Oh, yeah, sort of like the Dark Souls, the bridge. The uh, Moonlight Butterfly boss fight. Anyway. Again, because, yeah, these games spoon feed you so little. I feel like it encourages you to read into the details. Now, I'm going to kill this guy just because I don't want him coming up behind me. Just in case that happens. So when you see the end boss of Dark Souls losing a step, or you see a ghost. Kneeling besides a dead body. Is it its own body? Is it its... Okay. Let's pop this. Let's see if we can get it done. Now, is he a named boss? No. Okay. 
Oh, <laughs> walked into that. Horned warrior armor, nice. Two-handed sword talisman, okay. If I were a better player, that probably would be a nice find. Enhances attacks with two hands, yeah. Alright, I could see a world in which this is now done. Door head seek. Yeah, that door's not gonna go anywhere. Let's see if I die dropping down. Not too bad. All right. So I think it's possible to say this is done. So I'll mark that. Uh, so this is a bit of an enigma. Is getting here a matter of coming down? Cutting across? But yeah, here, let me show you. Let me see if I can figure out. Theater of the... Nope. Don't want to mark it. I just want to go there. Now what I want to do is I want to get to... That ramp. You can see it up there. I'm not sure what the best way is to get there. I thought it was... And I think I ran up there. Let's just go up or down. Please go. Well, let me, let me just see if I have the right ramp and if I... Again, this is not something I discovered on my own. It was something that I uncovered because I was checking out faith weapons and I think at some point you can drop off this ramp and you're off to the races on a whole thing that is entirely too easy to miss. And maybe it's not this one, but I thought there was a, a place in the... where you could start dropping on down. Is it that? I really don't know, but I thought there was a... I guess what I'm surprised is that it's not marked. I guess that's part of it. Anyway. Dashing through ahead. I see a lot of blood pools here.
Anyway, it felt like it was this kind of thing where you just sort of go off the ledge here and then you're able to start jumping around on different sub ledges like can you get down there? How many souls do I have? 50. Like could you get to that little ring? Like a horse double jump. Anyway, I, I truly have no idea, but I thought that's uh, something I remember seeing. I mean, clearly you could just go bonk and jump off here, but I don't think this is going to get you anywhere. Anyway. I'm sure somebody's out there just like screaming at me like, Hey moron, it is right there. What are you doing? Although I'm not seeing it from a wider angle. But yeah, it seemed like you could uh, sort of make your way around the outside of a city, high up on a ledge. And uh, uncover a faith weapon. Uh, that was the whole point of the... But that's, that's what I was sort of getting at. Like, there's all this stuff that you... How can you possibly see all of it? How could you possibly be that thorough? Okay, so... Looking around, we were messing around down here. I don't know if I sort of covered everything. I killed a giant bear over here. Did that. The question is, did I do this building? I did that. Not sure how to get there. Could I use that to traverse down, or did I come up this way? I think I came up this way. Let's let's uh let's start here. This was an area that frustrated me because I couldn't find the map. Now I've got the map. Maybe it's less frustrating. I feel like there's like that structure right up there. I'm not sure if I can. Now they're giving me the option to call in help. I thought I... Did I fight a dragon here? I thought I did. Oh, no. It's this thing. Ha, 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 Yeah, I can't deal with this. Um, okay. One of these days I will figure out how to deal with those. That's where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get up there. Let's see where this takes me. Oh. Okay. That's probably obviously the secret. I just gotta figure out where.
feel like this is too far away for that. But I was wondering if it was going to be somewhere in the middle. So this is telling me I have not... Have I been to this one yet? Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay. Try it's hacking. I feel bad about this, but let's see what happens. Okay, so that wasn't the answer. So, for instance, what I need to do here is I need to... Well, I can't do it now because the guy's about to explode on me, but... I need to mark on the map that there's a thing here that I need to... Nope, not that. Marker. That I need to double check on. Yeah, that, that tracks. Now, is this area always night, or can it be day? I think it can be day, just... Uh... So my fear is that I need to break a stone... a little higher up, and I don't know how to get there. Now is the answer to getting up there inside these ruins. Because again, I sort of blew through these ruins because I found them annoying because I didn't know what I was working toward.
shortcut ahead, okay. Is that actually true? What do you think? Up or down? Is this... Okay, so I feel like this is putting me on the right level. Or getting there, at least. Yeah, I feel like I, well, I was about to say, I feel like I did this before, but this item tells me maybe not. Yeah, I may have skipped this because of the Scarlet Rot last time, so maybe this is what I'm looking for. many of those. Okay. Alright, well let's uh let's go for it. die if I get hit with that. Here we go. Now, interestingly enough, so there's the thing that goes down even further. So is that just a second way I could have accessed this? Let me, um...
Let me see what I'm dealing with here. What I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to go back there before I... Now that I have this one, which one is this one called? Church of the Bud. Okay. I just want to see really quickly what happens if I drop down to the lowest floor. I can always teleport back up. I'm just curious what's down there. I was about to rest, but I was like, you know what? Let me just not rest. not respawn everything, because I can just, again, I'll just teleport back. Let's just see what's down there. Can I not? Okay. How about here? There we go. It's going to yellow a bit. Actually, it's not going to yellow for very long. <laughs> Because <laughs> those things hit hard and knock you off your horse into the Scarlet Rotlet. So, what I was sort of noticing was that when I took a look at the map, um, it seemed to be putting me in the general ballpark of where I think I marked the, the jump column. So I was just kind of curious if the jump column is actually in there somewhere. Let's see, what, um, let's, let's see what's behind this door. Enemy ahead. But here it looks like I can summon an NPC. Dryleaf Dane. Likely weak foe. So Dryleaf Dane is, I think, going to be a sort of story NPC. Now, that might mean I can't summon the Mimic Tier, but let's uh, see what happens. Oh, no, I can. Ah. Okay. So... <laughs> the only thing probably worse than... The scorpion spiders that are 20 feet tall and super hairy are like... One's when you're gonna now add in like a thousand centipede legs. Like, get fucked. I was going to say, you know, slight hints of Melania, uh, which makes sense if it's a, you know, she, you know, Melania's fight involves a bud, Scarlet Rot. But I reiterate, centipede legs on this thing, get fucked. Let's keep Dryleaf Dane coming. Obviously, this means I could probably summon all sorts of people. Player-wise, but let's uh, stick with Mimic Tier for now. Do 
through and get the heal off, so I'm Oh. Nope. This isn't going to go well. Too early. Ah, that, ah, the centipede. Total whiff. Nice. Take that. This is probably not good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this definitely hints at Melania, but now just a giant, disgusting centipede. I wonder if it matters if you lose an NPC. Like, does that kill a quest line? Remembrance of the Saint of the Bud. I doubt I have enough. Scatter tree. But I can level up. I feel like I should be getting my decks up more too, but whatever. Now I wonder if that was one of the main bosses you had to beat. I think there's only two or three or four fight you actually have to engage in. Examine the ceiling tree. Burn the ceiling tree. This must be plot necessary because this is reminiscent of how you get into the final boss of the uh, main game. Not quite this literal, but it is a pattern where you set something on fire and then that burns what's blocking your path.
So maybe when I was thinking, oh, there was like this outside wall you have to drop down, maybe it was in this area of the world. Where am I? So maybe, yeah, maybe that was the problem. I thought it was on that first part, but maybe there's something here where you can drop off. So this is interesting. So they're all marked off like I can't go back, and I'm nervous that I just screwed something drastic up. Jumping. Can I get on a horse? No. Yeah, because my fear is that I've... I've heard there was sort of a point in no return. I don't know if that's stating it too strongly, but... Sometimes you can then... Visions of armor, therefore, a time for don't give up. Okay. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you just have to get to a certain place and then it'll open back up. Like maybe it's here finding the second... Seek hope, therefore try faith. Uh, the second side of grace, which is hopefully right here. Nope, wrong button. Dog ahead. Still no. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm only at twelve. You know, I think you end up at like twenty, or you can end up at twenty. So that's telling me that there's huge things that I've not encountered yet. There we go. Okay, so now I'm free to move about the cabin, so to speak. So that's good. Um, let me show the lands between maps. Is that the old one? Let's go to the Table of Lost Grace. Let's see what spirits we can add to that giant hammer. That might make it a little more, a little more fun. Um, again, uh, all of this is on fire because similar to what I just did in the DLC, you gotta burn stuff to get ahead. Yeah, why not? Let's boost that guy all the way up. I've heard these guys can be really good if you boost them all the way up. I mean, not necessarily that they're like all powerful, but they can just take a beating and sort of jam up an enemy. Okay, Ashes of War. What's this? Uh, great katana. What can we add to this? Overhead stance. Cause, uh, what does that do? A skill that starts with the blade held high in a ready stance. Execute a normal attack from the stance to step forward and slash downward. Or a strong attack to deliver a series of downward slashes. But what we could do is we could put some flames on there. Or something. A skill that emits flame in a wide forward frontward arc. What's this one? Lightning Ram. Thunderbolts. Sacred Blade. Sacred Order. Hmm. 
But what we could do is we could take this mega hammer, if I could figure out where it is. And let's see if we can swap this ash. Uh... You know, we could turn it into like a flame weapon. Thrust arm into the ground and gather strength to unleash a blast of sacred energy that coalesces into golden darts. I mean, there's just all sorts of cool things we can do. Chilling mist. I think, though, unfortunately, Horfrost Stomp <laughs> bring back a classic. I think that might be intelligence based, though. But it is a good one. Let's uh, start with... This one's pretty good because I think it can stagger. I don't know if it's still... So if you do fire, let's see, that's going to knock it down strength-wise. Is there anything... Can eliminate decks entirely. Just make it heavy. That might be the way to go. Let's see, though. Damage-wise, though... We're dropping its holy. Let's see if we go heavy, we get... Okay, so if we leave it as is with no affinity, we get uh, 343, 190 is going to be 533 plus an extra 635, 678-ish. If we go here, we're going to get... 292 plus 284 is 492 plus another 90. 570 something plus another 100. 670 something. That actually might be the most damage. Because uh, that's, I think, putting it around 690. So we get a little bit of a boost to damage there. Fire, we're going to get 226 and 226. That's going to be. 452, 552, plus another 17, 569, plus another 100, 669, 700. Ooh, fire is getting now into the almost 800 range. So let's try that. Make this a fire hammer. Anything we can strengthen? We can make that the max, but let's hold off. Any other weapons we've been picking up that uh, might be fun to futz with? That great katana seemed like it could be a bit of fun. What's this? Eclipse Shuttle? I'm just looking at stuff that scales a little bit with faith. Backhand blade? Oh, right, this is the uh, intelligence-based katana, hand of Melania, great katana. Yeah, why not? I don't know how much I have enough to... Okay, so right now we're at 19. We're already at uh, 443. Decent bleed buildup. Okay, so I don't have the final stone I need. So what are we at? We're at 346, 446. Five you know, 15 or so. Uh, let's, what happens if we put some Ash of War on that? What do we do? Okay, so this thing has got us doing 440, 630 something, 631, 640, 660. That's not bad for, because it, it's a quick attack. Let's see if we put some Ashes of War on this. Flaming Strike. 
or point no arcane. This is all arcane. That's the problem. This is intelligence. I think the thing that makes the most sense is just straight up fire. This is going to make it scale a bit with faith. What does that do? Flame, uh, flame spear. So that's going to make it go... So yeah, here we are. We're at uh, 440, 438 plus another 63. Almost 500. This is going to make it... A lot higher. Uh, this is going to be 267. 267 is going to make it 5... Like 34 plus another 170, 634, 700. That's pretty good. What else do I have that can make it a faith based? You would think lightning would do the trick. It's interesting that this one is faith, the other ones aren't. Yeah, let's mess with this and see what it does. Anyway, just to mess around, right? Let's uh, actually let's whoops, wrong one. Let's let's try that one. Oh, the Bloodhound Fang, still a classic. Getting out pace though. You can see, you know, because you can't really add anything to it. It's got scales really well with Dex. It's looking at like 545, low 600s for damage, so it's it's good, but you can't apply anything to it. So all of a sudden you're getting this, which is, you know, just base damage on the left is, uh, you know, 534 or whatever. Going up to over 700 with the fire bonus, and then getting near 750 with the physical bonus. So let's... Um, Okay, so we don't need to do this. Let's go back to the realms between. Okay, so there's still an entire area I have not seen. There's an entire area I've seen, but haven't figured out how to get to. I think I uncovered that this wasn't going anywhere. This didn't get me where I thought it was going to go. I was trying to figure out how to get to here. And I thought it might have something to do with the dragon corpse. It did not, that I could tell. I don't know if I've been here yet. So, I think the other way to get here is to see if this is a land bridge. And then you can connect. The question is, how do you get here? It's clearly coming out of here. So does that mean you go underneath to get there? Or is there something here... Let's try it. I'm leaning towards this just because there were so many obvious things that I missed on the map before. I was once told a coffin could convey its passenger upon a gentle cruise to the velvet garden of deepest purple. Oh, to slumber in such paradise. Now, I feel like I've done... I've never found the coffin, if there were one to be found.
Now this looks familiar, so I feel like this is going to take me to here. Which is, of course, nice, but it's not what I'm looking for. Basically, I'm curious if there's whoops, something to it here, or if there's something here that I'm missing. As you can see, like... Well, it doesn't really go. I was about to say the path sort of goes, but it doesn't. Okay, so I think this is going to put me underneath where I'm trying to go. That's a... Yeah, I think that's what I want up there. Okay, so that wasn't... quite what I was looking for. Let's travel to the Scorched Ruins. Let's see what I can figure out. No, I'm curious. Like, it's dumb things. Like, did I even explore this? It's pretty good. I mean, what I'm doing is train wreck, but the weapon's pretty good. Oh, shit, shit. Like, did I make it to the top of this? Did I explore... got nice reach. It's, it's sort of an interesting attack pattern. It, it feels like it has the hint of a delay, but then it comes down quick. I feel like I've made decent progress in the main... Like, I bet I could go explore that new area I just unlocked and maybe get near the end game. I'm nervous because... I'm only at, like, 12 for my scatter tree stuff, when I feel like... I'm sure you can find a couple up there, but I don't think it's going to take me from 12 to 20 or whatever it is. Let me see what this flame spear does. OK, 
Okay, so similar to the other ruin. Feels like you should be able to... But in the last one, I had to jump down and over. So maybe that's similar here. That's pretty good. Oh, I see, and then it buffs your... Got it, okay. Not quite. Can you come at it from this angle? Now, if I did clear this, I'll make sure to mark it this time. Nice. Okay. Clearly, I did not. Again, not sure if that's something I'm ever going to actually use, but... I like having the options. I like knowing that I actually explored. Oh, I wonder if you can use this hard to hit this guy. If you could bait him over here, is this high enough to drop whatever it is you need to do to blow him up? Uh, what I'm going to do, though, before I forget, I'm going to mark this marker. I feel like... Ooh. Okay, uh, but that's not what I was here for. <laughs> I got sidetracked. What I was here for was to explore if there was anything to this or this church consolation or this area up here. Maybe this thing? Have I been up here? And if so, how would you even get up here? Is there... Okay, let's see what happens when we get up here a little bit, because again, if you look at the map, you see the roads actually divert, interestingly, like, down. So I just want to double check what that's about. Because that's a hell of a drop for the...
part of what I was curious about is that sort of hinting at when you have gravestones, but it doesn't seem to be. And maybe the roads are below. Maybe that's it's it's nod to a three dimensional map. Okay, so let's um. Hi, we haven't met. I'm Art. <laughs> oh, the pain. So I feel like we've exhausted the dialogue. Clearly we have not been here yet because that was a... A, uh... Side of Grace we have not unlocked. We've got basically the full complement of potions, so let's keep going. Although let me quickly just see what that is up there. Clearly, they're trying to give you the hint that down the side is not a bad thing. Okay, we got one over there. Doesn't quite knock him down the way the sacred flame or the the holy energy does, but not bad. Gonna keep spamming the lock on to see which ones are enemies and which ones aren't. Nope. I was gonna say that one seems to have a little bit of like. I don't know if it's like death magic going on right off the bat. Aspects of this feel familiar, but maybe I haven't really been here before. It's got a nice reach on it, I will say that. This makes sense, it's a great katana. I'm surprised I don't have the dragon stones necessary to get this up to 25, but it's alright.
Now what's that? Larval tier, nice. Haven't needed them in a while, but that lets you respec. So if I wanted to shift some of my gains from, say, strength to dex and stick with this katana kind of stuff, I could do that. If I wanted to shift away from dex and go all in on strength to use the magic giant hammer or whatever, I could do that. I forget what they call this build. Like, strength dex tends to be like a... It's got a name for it. Where you're kind of just good at both. Oh. How about that? Let's see. How do I... Is he down? I don't remember the night and day cycle making this much of a difference in my perception of the levels in the original game. Where am I? So I feel like there's something... Okay, let's get back up. Flailing wildly, it's not working for me. Get out of here. Wow. Fair. Alright, let's see if we can get those souls back. I don't know how many they were. Just got basically ganked. Wasn't paying attention. I don't know if it's because it was dark. And the fact that they were sort of Seem like the tougher death birds. Or the fact that I was just sort of taking them for granted. Is a little easier to see. This is what happened last time. Didn't quite have the range on one of those whiffs.
Well, at least let's see what's uh, up here. Suppressing pillar, all right. The very center of the lands between. All manners of death wash up here, only to be suppressed. Very nice. All right, I'll take that. Now I was, it's cheap, but I was spamming the um, lock on. It didn't let me lock onto that one for some reason. I don't know if these actually do anything. I think I added that gesture to And the trick with this is, if you've played Bloodborne, there's a place where you have to do a gesture, and you have to actually hold the gesture for like 30 seconds, so I never quite know how long to go for. Does that feel like... Feels like that'd be long enough. Um, okay. Well. So let's cut down that side path. Am I about to get invaded or something? Yeah, okay.
All right. Is there anything at the top of that tower? I think that's the ruins I was exploring, but, um... The tower was separate from it, so I wasn't 100% sure how to get up there. So is the question just to let him do this until he... lands and then beat him to death. I should stop trying to get shots in early. So wait, where are we? Sorry, there's something going on outside, so I might mute for a little bit. Alright, so in the classic D&D sense, when you face skeletons, you want a blunt weapon. So let's see what's up now that we've juiced this with fire and uh, brimstone. I forgot they come back. Can I just hit him again? There we go. I don't know if it was a street sweep or something. Uh, something was going on outside for a second there.
dung ahead, of course. Let's go grab it. Perfect. <laughs> you know what? I, I gotta say, that's the... That's more dung than I was expecting. This stage in the game, like, I don't even know what the point of a smithing stone one is. Oh, that's on me. Classic. That sort of harkens back to the original Dark Souls when you're heading to Nido's... Oops, I forgot. Nido's lair, and you're going from, you know, along that ledge in the underground. And if you just casually... There's a guy straight ahead. And if you sort of approach him, all of a sudden you get kicked off the ledge from the side. Apologies, I'm still dealing a little bit with the cold. I'm mostly better, I think. But uh, I'm still... Clearing my throat a lot. Etc, etc. I gotta make sure this guy stays down before I move on. Be wary of ambush, okay. Alright, nice. Some XP. Okay. A little tough. Uh, yeah, I was trying to tackle this down here. There, you know, I wasn't expecting the ambush from this guy. But I saw the patrol pattern of the bigger guy and was hoping I would created enough separation. Dragon head. Fantastic. You know, before I do that, let's see what's down. The only reason why is because I couldn't tell if that looked like it was leading, like if that looked like natural light outside. If only I had a hero. Be brave, show no fear. Now the be brave, show no fear again, that looked more like a developer message again. I'm totally pulling that out of my ass, I don't know. Praise the right.
praise the left. Okay. Try jumping off. Mm. Oh. I was about to say, usually you would have a... Uh, death camera going in before then, so... A little bit of, like, Dark Souls 3, the DLC, and maybe they do this in Elden Ring as well, where, like, you would just fall from impossible heights, but since you land in a little bit of ash, you're good. Ancient Drag. Oh, this is the real one. What I'm trying to do is get a little separation. Backstab. Nice. See what the flame does, if anything. Can stagger. It used to be super powerful. There we go. Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. Nice. Uh, return to entrance. What's... Well, now I'm a little disappointed that I didn't check the other direction, because that seemed like... Seems like that was the exit. Turns out this was. Where am I? Foot of the Jagged Peak. All right. Okay. Some dragons down below. I'm a little... Oh, oh, this is what I wanted. Okay, this is the bridge. So that's good. Not sure how to get that, but we'll figure that out soon. So what I'm tempted to do is I'm tempted to go back. What I should do is go back. I should pop some, some souls. See if I get enough to level up. What do I need? I need about 30 grand. Not even close. Let's pop the other two. I guess I had three of the other one. Okay, that does it. Um, okay, so let's... Um, I'll get intelligence up to 20, and then maybe I'll start buffing arcane. What am I up to? 176. And then maybe I start, uh... I think it's called a quality build. That's what I was trying to say earlier when your strength and dex quality build. Okay, so let's see if we can get through and check that other direction pretty quickly. It didn't seem like that hard of a... I like how everything just sort of explodes on him like that when I get the backstab off. Nice little touch. Okay, did I explore both directions last time? 
I probably did because the other way had dung. Then I remember I got gotten by that ambush, so yeah. Okay, interesting. So, what was across that chasm was, like, this giant vat of blood. And, of course, you know, like, the way you get to this DLC involves Moog, the Lord of Blood, so maybe there's something there. Doesn't seem like there's anything actually over there aside from that, but okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check that other direction really quickly. There's the ambush here. And if it's nothing or if it's whatever, I'll just go back and uh, teleport out to that jagged peak starting area. Okay, so I want to go up. See if I can take advantage of the patrol pattern, let him go back down to the base of the stairs, and maybe I only have to deal with the one. If nothing else, maybe at least I won't have to deal with the one at the base that comes to life. If I can dispatch him, at least before the second guy comes, that's better than I was doing down below. Interesting. It does, oh, there we go. Get away from the wall because I can't see what's going on. <laughs> Probably fire's not the way to go with this guy, so I might be setting myself up in a bad way.
Like in this case with like the great katana. Be better because it's a bleed weapon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Caught in the flame. Get out of there. trying to be patient. One thing I like about Dragon's Dogma series is that you can sort of cripple the bosses. I'd love the idea of like, you know what, I took out one of its legs so now it can't move as fast or... Or you chop off its tail so it can't do that or you break enough of its teeth or something so it can't do all this flame stuff. I need to get away from the wall because I'm getting stuck. Shit. Shit. The wire. Okay. Um, so there's clearly something... What, uh... I picked up a weapon from the dragon guy. What was that? I don't know where it is. Um, it was a katana, right? Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. Great Katana with spines of gravel stone along its blade, wielded by the ancient dragon man of the dragon's pit. Got that, okay. Has an anti-dragon effect. Now, would that worm count as a dragon? Designed to hunt colossal dragons, the skill cloaks the armament with a jagged... Huh. Can charge the attack. Let me see, um, hmm. Instead of level one, let me see what I can do in terms of, uh, nope. Can I actually teleport? Let's see if we can, uh, buff it up a little bit and see what the numbers turn into. I don't know if it'll do much against the rest of the enemies, but maybe against that last one it might have some, an effect. Although I am liking this thing. This thing's working out pretty well. Okay, let's, um, strengthen armament. Is it this one? Oh, I don't have any. Oh, crap, I don't have any. Don't have any souls. Bum, 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 bum. Show underground. Again, I'm never proud of this, but... Let's go get some souls so that we can upgrade that weapon. Is this it?
I'm gonna do that a couple more times. I want to have about a hundred grand just to make sure I have enough to upgrade that weapon and maybe buy any stones I might need to buy. So what was that? About thirty. So I need to do it two more times. There's some way you can bait that bird to jump off a ledge or something and get an extra 13 grand. I'm just like, yeah, this is probably the amount of time it would take me to figure that out. It's quicker just to sit down and do one more run. And again, you're going to be like, you're such a piece of shit player. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I am. I've never claimed to be noble about these games. As I've said, I treat these games like a street fight. So, bite, kick, throw dirt in their eye, whatever it takes. All's fair. Uh, that's not what I want. I want above ground round table. So yeah, no, I, I don't feel too much shame. What I actually would never do, though, for what little it's worth. How big is this thing? It's pretty cool. It looks a little bit like the... Well, no. I was going to say Quelag's... The sword she gives you, but maybe not quite. Um, what I don't do, though, usually... Is I wouldn't go there just to farm levels. What I might do is if I'm a... I think I did it once or twice. If I was rolling around with like 200,000 souls and I needed 210 or something, maybe I'd do it once just to... How did I do? So what level did this get up to? Oh, nice. We got... Okay, so this is a, a level 10. This is a magic weapon. It's not a... All right, let's try this again. So yeah, it uses the Ancient Somber Dragon, which I definitely had a couple of those. So let's see how this does. I'll try it out on these other guys. I mean, I, the... This does 372, 218, that's 572. It's 590, so it's not amazing in that sense. I, don't, I didn't finish off that other thing, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, again. Remember this ambush. You know what I might do? I'm going to switch out to the Thunder Hammer here and um, just get through and then I'll switch back when it's time to face that worm. I'm down a health potion, which I'm not loving. Because that worm fight seems like it could battle of attrition a bit, so. And can I finish him off? Permanently put him down.
All right, let's see what this does, if anything. Strong opening by this, uh... That too much. Oh, that's new. That should have done something. I feel like I got that off. Luckily I got that off. <laughs> nice! Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, good, that makes up for the one I just spent. And I want to say that, um... Yeah, that went faster. I was able to stagger, which I wasn't able to do the first time. Very nice. That's pretty good. Okay, so now that we've done this. What we can do is we can mark this as truly complete. And uh, let's head over here now. And uh, let's see what we're dealing with. All right, do I switch back? What was that? I was going to say, do I switch back to the hammer? But I'm seeing... more dragons down there. Let's see how this does, I guess. Now, one trick is usually I fight dragons on horseback. You probably won't be able to use that magic spell against dragons on horseback, but let's uh, at least explore a little bit. Now, they really want you to see this one. Bail, O oh Terror Incarnate, again I stand afore ye. Confess, I don't know what that means. I wonder... So, imagine your Bethesda Softworks, right? You're working on Elden, Elder, Elder, Elder Scrolls 6, whatever. The next Skyrim follow-up. Skyrim, one of the best-selling games, basically of all time, probably, in recent history. But then Starfield comes out, you're sort of following the same idea, and it... For what it's worth, it doesn't do well. All things considered, is my understanding. So, a game like Elden Ring, though does unbelievably well. What do you learn from it, if anything? Got one dragon. 
It's letting me, you know what? Let me bring in the Mimic tier and see what two of these swords can do against a dragon. You know, the thing I've always disliked about the Elden Ring series is the combat. I, I don't like the first person perspective. Let's get out of there. Jagged Peak Drake, okay. It's definitely taking a chunk off of it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let me get out of there. Let me heal up. Oh. Retreat. Anticipating some kind of quick spin. And it's got your back to you like that. So yeah, there we go. Pull back a little bit in case it's gonna come down hard. Or like if you know what I was saying about Dragon's Dog, you hit the dragon enough in the wings it can't take off anymore. Little stuff like that in case it does a spin with its tail. Give that some space. But yeah, I wonder like... Because they're never going to switch the perspective of the combat, right? Which is the one thing I want them to do. I don't need it to be hard like this. There we go. In fact, I was just seeing a new patch on um, for Dragon's Dogma 2, which is going to make me want to hopefully get back to that soon. Because in theory, they're starting to fix some of the slowdown when you're in areas with lots of NPCs. We'll have to see if, how true that is. But one of the things they talked about in their patch was like casual mode, right? And I gotta say, there's a part of me that is sorely tempted to bust out casual mode in Dragon's Dogma 2 because the combat's not that interesting. And so if it would let me blow through the trash mobs you're constantly getting faced with and get back to the exploring, that's, that's what I mean. Like, I don't need to be hard. Like, Skyrim is not hard. Oh, I mean, you can bump it up, but, you know, like on its face value. It doesn't have to be hard. So what you can do is you can just enjoy the exploration. Here, you're always risking hitting a wall with your exploration. At any moment, you know, you could... Okay, so let me see what's this way before I... So the, what I'm looking at is this is going to eventually take me, I think, to here, which is going to get me across, but I'm kind of curious what all of this was. Because if you remember, I thought this was a passage between the two. It wasn't. I want to see maybe what's over here. I don't know if you can get over. I don't know if it's like a big loop, but let me try the other direction. But, um... Now, having said that, this game might... I don't know about this one. Because the exploration is one thing, and they don't throw so many trash mobs at you like Dragon's Dogma, so you want... When they do put something in front of you, it, it's a little more challenging, and that's a good thing. I like that there's these, like, super goats. And also, I love Souls games, so I, I wouldn't want Elder Scrolls to try and mimic Souls. Like, Souls is its own thing, and it's got some je ne sais quoi that other people have tried to imitate, and it's never quite worked out. So I'm happy leaving I'm seeing some skeletons. So let me um let me go back to the thunder buttons here. Nope, not that one, that one.
So I don't know what I would hope for them to learn because the one thing I want them to learn is make your combat not suck in first per and first get it out of first person. But that's something they're never gonna do. And they already have pretty good exploration, to be honest with you. Like Skyrim, man, I should I should give that a real try one of these days. I've I've played it enough to get to like level thirty, which I know I don't think is bad, but it's not. Can I just blow through these guys? Sometimes I'm like, oh, that'd be a fun stream game, but then after, like, I mean, one, everybody streams it, but two, it's just so sprawling, and I feel like you'd be playing it for, like, 12,000 hours. I don't know. Even here, where, like, the sprawling lands, there's always, like, something specific to drive toward. Skyrim just feels like it's, you know, just a bajillion side quests till the end of time. Gotta hit that guy. Okay. So I wonder if I could duplicate the uh, sacred thing that I've got on my katana or just move it off of the katana if I'm not going to really use it in favor of this. Because this thing hits like a truck. Oh. Fulgur Bloom I thought had some connection to like insanity. Here's the dragon corpse I've been trying to get to the whole time. But yeah, I could turn this thing into, like, a sacred shotgun. So let's quickly... just check the other side to see what I think I'm seeing when I see a path down to the other area. Remember, there's the finger... The finger legs, Kadunction. type of ass you can expect in this channel. Okay, so somewhere right around here to the right, I feel like the map is trying to tell me something. And I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's a cave. Okay, all right.
Egon's cookbook, all right. Okay, we got ourselves a sight of grace up ahead, but is that because there's a reason I need to... Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Oh, this would make sense. I've been collecting dragon hearts, haven't been able to spend them. Maybe this is where you do it in the DLC. Got bad news about Placidusax. Ancient Dragon Blessing, okay. Warrior true. What is it that you need? In a time long past, Bail turned upon the Dragon Lord. The foul traitor assailed our master and inflicted a grievous wound, only to make a hasty retreat becoming a sworn enemy of the group. Since that day, Bale and his bloodline, the Drakes, have served as sacrifices for Dragon Queen, Landbound Warrior. My lord, Placidusax, has shown your kind what must be done. Seek communion. Sate your boundless appetite. Feel the euphoria of a dragon's essence taking root in your meager frame. Am I remembering Placidusax correctly? Is that the dragon in um, the floating area where all the buildings are in ruins that you can use to undo the, the madness ending? In a time long okay, so I guess we're getting an idea of who Bale is. Now, can I... is this like a communion? Okay, I don't have that. Can I do this? Okay, let's see what we've got. Ghost Flame Breath. I don't have the arcane for it, but... Why not? In case someday I do. Okay. So let's um hmm, let's spend these souls. Yeah, we're gonna get intelligence up to twenty, then we'll work on arcane. And then what? I mean vigor, endurance, strength, these things should probably all should be fifty, sixty. I mean they shouldn't be 40. 40 is pretty low. For that being the focus at high levels, but, um... Okay, so I feel like we've sort of...
Wow, this is... This is massive. Okay. Uh, I wonder if that's a shortcut to the other area. Wondering if we take the low road, can we just avoid all of those skeletons? All right, I'll take it. Okay, so there's a jump gate up here, which I assume is going to take us up where we need to go, but there's something... Let me just see what's down here. I don't know if that's something specific or just a marking on the map, but let's, um... Let's find out. Interesting, yeah. Once again, we want to go down, not up. But that'll have to come at another time to see how we can get that last map, map fragment. I wonder if you can actually just not get that last map fragment and... Greater potentate's cookbook. They did mention at some point a coffin, but we have yet to encounter one in this. This is a nice view. Still don't know how to get. I mean, because that's a 
it's a big chunk. But I feel like now that we've opened stuff up here, like, could we just get to the end of the game? One thing I've heard about this DLC is that it is heavy on the optional. Let's give it a shot. Nice touch, the uh, lightning in the skybox there. Really nice touch. Okay. Um, I think that's something that actually happens in volcanoes when they're starting to erupt, like static electricity builds up or something. It causes lightning in the... I might be making that up, but I thought that was a thing. Okay, so we know Bail or Boil is somewhere up here. Oh, wow. Okay, first and foremost, let's uh, switch back. let the one finish the other off, if that's possible. It's not giving me the option to call in the Mimic tier. Now, there's an area in the other base game that has a lot of dragons. I don't remember them ever fighting each other. I feel like this might be entirely new. I hope there's no penalty for taking the cheap way out here. It's almost got him. Okay, here we go. Okay, Jagged Peak Drake. It seems like it's the same kind of boss as the last time, so let's see if we can... I'll stay mobile. Oh, get away from there. Okay. He seems to be charged up a little bit, though. I don't remember the last one having that effect. What the hell is that? Was that sweeping force coming from the Great Katana of the Mimic tier? It's 
uh, stick and move a little bit there. Nope, gotta go away from him. Oh, that's got some range to it. Okay. Nice. I feel like if he said Igor, I feel like we grabbed a cookbook with that guy's name on it. Drink warrior, dear friend, grant me this one wish. Take this finger, my finger, scale the jagged peak, face bale the dread, and when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. My limbs are limbs no more. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But a Drake warrior, I remain. And my soul yet lies on the mountain. Now this seems similar to the guy that was like writhing in pain at the base, like it was like a ghost that was talking about the pain in his limbs and etc, etc. Maybe it's the same guy. So we got 162 grand in souls. I don't see Sight of Grace. for two. Let's try that again. Did he give me um, his finger? Do I need to... Because I know I have the fingers to normally summon people, but do I need... Use FP to increase all damage negation. I feel like that could help. Are these tiers I can put in... Okay. 
Okay, so it doesn't look like I actually have to equip that finger. Nice, all right. I don't know how many I have, but... I know I have at least one. So that's two, I need three to up a level. Get out of there, stuck. Oof, walked into that. Woof, woof, woof. How's Mimic Tear doing? Mimic Tear's holding up. Great. Stake America. That's just what I want. There's 162 souls at stake. To Gugda. But, um... Alright, so let's get those souls back real quick. I feel like we were holding our own.
shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I stayed mobile enough on that one. Just trying to get greedy, staying under his belly a little bit. A lot of other reasons. Add to it, I'm terrible, but I feel like that was a. Why am I? Oh, I just brought in Tish. That's why. Let's see how uh, how she does. She's super mobile, so that might help a little bit. Assuming I don't get greedy. Super mobile, but not durable. Up shit. Yeah. Okay, so a couple things first. One, we don't need the talismans that we have. So let's adjust. So we need some fire protection. Let's get that going. I don't know if those red things count as lightning, but let's take a look. Don't need that. I guess we're sort of using that when we use the magic power of the blade, but... Let's get... Uh, let's see. Let's get some of that going. Although I don't know if that guarding ability actually does anything because... I'm on horseback. Non-physical damage might help. We might get some... Lawnmowers going, so I might mute a bit. Like, is it magic damage that he's doing to me? Is it... Lightning... Well, if not, nothing else, my Mimic tier hopefully has the same bonuses. I don't know if it works that way.
Oh, I walked into that. Get out of there. Really poor showing here, but what are you going to do? Jesus. What's the range on that thing? Should be going down here. Yep. Getting really poor showing. I'm getting knocked off my horse, and that's kind of it. So I don't know how the trick. Staying on my horse uh, longer. My job should be to stay mobile, in theory to let the Mimic Tear get the magic spell off, but I'm not attracting enough attention from the dragon. Whiffing like crazy. The McTeer is taking the brunt of it because I'm shitting the bed. Get out of there.
Godspeed mimic tier. God damn it, if I could get to the side. Am I still alive? Drink. Oh! Now I'm going to really mute because there's, uh, I think my neighbor's getting the lawn mowed, so.
That was that was terrible. So many stupid mistakes. That was that was ass. That's gotta be lightning, right? Lightning damage, that talisman to be the better one. That's the thing, you can't even get up before he finishes you off, so once you're sort of stunned like that, there's not a ton you can do. Let me see if I can switch the lightning protection. Okay. Not sure if it's going to make any difference, but it can't hurt. walking and everything, I haven't done any damage to this thing. It's just magic power right up the taint. Nope. Fucking walked right into that.
leaving the Mimic tier to take too much of the brunt of it. Get out of there. See, I keep hoping, like, I can draw its attention long enough if I can get to the side here to, um, let the Mimic do the magic power, but it's not working out. The Mimic tier's just getting wrecked, because I'm shitting the bed like it's going out of style. This is really bad. At least the last time when the Mimic Tear died and I had a shot, like, it was, like, seven-eighths of the way down or something. Like, it was really wounded. Here I'm on the hook for half of the dragon's health, and I'm so bad that I just can't see that happening. Nope, gotta get out of here. It's a dead end. So I wonder if you're not using the magic power, is this thing worth it? Like I'm doing 760 something points of damage. Would I be doing more with like the magic hammer? I think he's breathing. Nope. Nope. I thought he breathed fire, which meant I could get to the side of him, and but then all of a sudden the lightning came down, so I realized I had screwed up. What I was panicked about was getting knocked off my horse. waiting for that. Can't see. Yeah. Sort of the death spiral where if you think you gotta be on ho I don't know how you avoid that. On foot. Throwing up a lot of air balls there. All right. Again, can I get to the side? couple shots in. Not bad. It looked like he got the magic spell off. That's good. Or 
Jersey. Get out from under him. Oh shit, I walked right into that. Get out of there. Mimic Tear is taking the brunt. Not good. I'm running into it for no reason. Mimic Tear is gone. And I'm really letting down this AI crutch that I keep relying on. Still, for all my frustrations, and they're not that much. Dragons in Elden Ring, best uh, in the entire Soulsborne series. Airball, airball, one hit. I know it all started, it kicked off with the DLC of uh, Dark Souls, but um, horseback dragon fights are uh, top notch. It's like I got a hit off there, I thought I airballed it, but... Love to get him going flame breath on me, but um Cause then again I can get to the side and maybe get two shots off. But I'm not sure how to bait that. Oh come on. Shit, that's what I wanted. I'm too far away. See, if I had the time, I would just sort of switch out the weapon to see... Like, what would that thunder hammer do? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Get out of there. Get out of there. Shit, that's what I want. One potion left. Here we go.
Nope. Shit. Shit. Get out of there. Basically, I need my one potion in case I get knocked off my horse. There we go. Did not get greedy. Took my time, just sort of hit and fade over and over and over. Got both uh, the highest level smithing stones for it. Oh, <laughs> that was epic. Partly because I sucked ass for so much at the beginning, but um, oh my. Just doing that chip damage back and forth, just hit and fade, taking one hit at a time, realizing that it was a game of patience. Whew. Very nice. Let's see. Definitely have enough for at least one level. Oh, we got enough for... So what are we up to? 13? That's not bad. Again, I think you get up to 20. Usually I've heard people hit the end boss area around 17 or so. Still nothing there. Level up. We'll do intelligence. Confirm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to now that I have like an ancient dragons, there was something I was working on. Was it, was it the great katana? No, that was, um, yeah, the great katana maybe. There was something I could only get up to level 24. What I actually should do is I should take the great katana and maybe add that. What do I need? I thought I just grabbed a... Got a couple on there because I want to see. Okay, so right now it's for great katana. When you add the fire to it. We're looking at 267 times 2. Again, I did this before. Is 534. Another 170 makes it 634. 704. 
750. If I do this, holy, it's going to scale better with faith. It's going to be 266, 266. So it's a little bit lower there. Everything's a touch lower. But it would scale better with faith, which is really pretty high for me. So let's try that. Then let's see with this hammer. Like right now it's at... Uh, it's not bad. It's uh, 445... 645, 635. It's not into the 700s, though. But if I do this, and I make it sacred. So it's getting holy damage of uh, 190, 330, 430, 520, That's blown it out. Lightning is 231, 231, that's 462, plus another... 150 ish. 612 plus another 712. So I think sacred really. I don't think there's anybody else I can. I see. Okay. the wrong weapon for these things. Um, <laughs> that's funny. More cookbooks from Egon? Like, I wonder on the dragons and stuff like this, should I be going lightning damage instead of the sacred? I know the sacred tallies up higher, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest back up here, get the flasks refilled. I don't think I'm like 90,000 away, but I don't think I have the uh, items to get up there now. so bad. Let's 
sort of taking the idea of that area in Dark Souls 2, Dragon's Peak or whatever, and sort of really blowing it out. Nope. It's not the button I meant to hit, but it makes me wonder, like, what else is down? down there? No? Okay. Nice, I'll take that. Okay, so I think I need to get comfortable with the idea that I might be losing 140,000 souls. Because this looks like a boss arena. So let me... Seen a lot of dragon taints and need to oops still alive. <laughs> I I don't like I can't even sort of get my bearings, which is I see something over here. What's this? Ooh. Oh right, right, right. Fears 
relative scale you might be, foul dragon. But I <laughs> Okay. Let's say that was like a getting to know you run. <laughs> okay, so we got a couple things going on. One. There it is, okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Six grand. Nice. Probably could have gotten... As I say, that doesn't look good. <laughs> I just need to be able to take a drink so I can figure out what I'm doing. Pull back. Nope, shit. Thought I rolled out. Nope. Thought I rolled to the side. I don't know if I was too late, too slow. Rolling to slide doesn't matter. The side doesn't matter. But I will say, like, this, uh, this sword is living up to its name because when I was getting magic spell shots straight to its head, it's doing six, seven, nine thousand, whatever. I could die just because I'm... There we go. Okay, so I thought I... Well, maybe there is no getting away from that. I <laughs> can't see what's going on because I'm jammed up against the rock. Okay. You know what? I had a... Maybe do that one. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. I guess I should keep those. Although I've got terrible tears for this. Well, I mean, the boost damage negation is good. I don't even know what I've got going on, but there we go. Too slow, maybe? 
Yeah, that was shit. I've got, uh, maybe, I can, can I adjust my tears of the bonfire? Because I've got the one for the Lord of Blood, which doesn't do anything. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Okay, so let's clear these. Okay. That could be pretty good. We have that one going, so let's um do that. Now, I don't know if I want to do it early in the fight or late in the fight. Why is that not doing anything? With a hail of harpoons, with every last drop of my being. Nope, got greedy, but still. There we go. Woof. Nope. Wait, did he just go full second? Okay. Yeah, he went full second phase. Felt like really early. <laughs> now my mimic's getting wrecked. I can't tell if the other guy's still around though. Once again, it's one of those things where once you're down, you're sort of in a tailspin. You can't really... Yeah. Just gonna let this one go. So I think I'm out of those blessings. I still have the, the 
vial. So here's a question. Do I summon this guy immediately or can I wait? He's not doing much that I can see. Or maybe I'm just not noticing. Fuck you. I feel like I got that shot off. I don't know if it counted it, but uh... So the reason why I'm thinking can I hold off on that guy a little bit is because he seems to have a ranged weapon attack, so maybe when the second phase when the guy's more in the air. Fuck you. I feel like I was not in line for that. I thought I was off to the side. The other thing is trying to get that guy in the fight immediately. I'm spending my efforts there. I'm locking myself in place. I'm doing that with my Mimic tier as well, I guess, but... Now let me see about bringing... Nope, oh, shit. Nope. That one was definitely my fault. Because um, I could have, I think, blocked and or dodged those wing sweeps. And I was just getting ahead of myself a little bit. Again, the crutches that I rely on. Dragons, horse... Yeah, there's nothing. I didn't have time to get a potion down. I, I managed to dodge the opening flame attack, I think. But yeah, I just didn't have time. 
to get a potion before he did the leap. Shot right to the head to start. Oof, see that? Ah, oh, God, see that's just stupid. Where the hell's, uh, what's his dots? Oh, fuck you. The guy, somebody put a symbol right on it, so it's hard to see. Take this in the teeth because I was getting greedy. Now I should be hitting him while he's blowing up like that, but nope. Again, last time, the first time we saw him go to phase two, it's much, uh, Do any damage. Shit. Let's do a mimic tier. Boom. Heart of Bale down. Bale the dread. You shall haunt me no longer. Hell yeah. Almost there. Again, once I get that to 20, I'll start working on Arcane. See what that opens up. So, hmm. Okay, uh, how do I, what do I do?
Whew. So I know that there was somebody like back at the communion thing. There was like, hey, do you want to consume Bale's heart? So I'm going to fast travel over to there, I guess. I don't think there's anything here. I think I let those souls go. Still don't know how to get that. But let's, uh, let's take a peek here. Ooh, this person's gone. Okay. Take a quick look at the flower stone, whoops, wrong button, flower stone gavel. Okay, scales with arcane. Weapon of the dragon communion pri uh, priestess, a dragon stone hammer resembling an ancient flower. The four petals in the flower's core are all sharp ending in points, and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons. Unique skill, Flower Dragon Bolt. Calls down the red lightning of the ancient dragons to strike a target, deals lightning damage, and also temporarily reduces the target's lightning damage negation. Oh, interesting. Can be charged to increase its power. So I wonder what would have been better. Like, this, um... Does lightning damage, makes the dragon more susceptible to lightning damage, but both of which I think are good. But I will say, this thing was knocking the shit out of it when I would hit it in the head. Okay, let's see what we get. Channel Dredge Dragon Roar with the Heat Wave Blast, or... Both of these are heavy on the Arcane. I think I'll take the Flame Lightning in case I ever have the Arcane to do it. Huh. All right. So the, the thing we haven't accomplished yet is... A, how did I get here? And finding out what this whole area is. Now, I remember the fort had a passage behind it that there was a dragon on the other side, so maybe that passage is what takes you down into um, this unmarked area. Am I thinking of the right fort? What, what is this? I thought... Maybe I'm misremembering. I thought there was a way to get behind one of these forts. Is it here? Let's go to the the front of the fort. Maybe we can get around it. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking of the wrong fort, to be honest with you. Oh, the reason why I can't get that to 25 is because I can't get it to 24. <laughs> so I need more stones to get to level 24, and then I can finish it off with a ancient dragon stone. Mostly I just want to get out of here through the front exit, but I feel like I'm failing that.
Yeah, there might not be a behind <laughs> the fort on this one. Uh, what was this? Just gonna check this real quick. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to... I think wrap this up in a second. I just wanna just double check and see if I can figure out an obvious path of how I got to... That hut. Definitely wasn't from here. Okay. Let's try here. Somehow I did it, though, obviously, because I've been there. So I just need to figure that out and hope there's a path I can keep following deeper into that unmarked territory. I want to go the other way. This looks like a cliff that's probably not traversable. I've been there. How did I do it? Did I come through here? Yeah, I feel like beating Bale is a pretty good ish stopping point. I just want to um, quickly see if I can figure out this next part south. I'm going to go the other way. Both of these ways are the wrong way. Um, what I want is... Is that underneath the bridge, the land bridge? That's what I'm looking for. To get down that ravine. So you see here, the roads look like they... Travel down. came from there. Okay. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking at some point doing one more Darklands session. Maybe a short one. Just to go over a few more things. Just to show a few more things. And then maybe do like an official review. I don't know if that would be interesting to review a 275 year old game, but obviously I give a lot of thoughts while I'm playing, but I felt like this could be a way to sort of summarize everything. And that way people wouldn't have to watch the, and I would, I, maybe I would la label it like Dark Souls, not Dark Souls, Dark Lands Review, so people could just skip the actual play and uh, go for the business. So yeah, we're going to cut down here, which again is a thing that I completely missed the first time somehow. Okay, so now we've basically gotten to the point where we can get to the shack.
Okay, there's the jagged peak, which we just took down. I think I've taken that to get to the fort. Oh, maybe that's... A, okay, that's one way you could have gotten down. You could have jumped in... Okay, so here's here. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how to keep going down, which I think I sort of figured out before to some degree, but now I just got to figure it out to make sure I stay into this no man's land direction that I want to go in. Assuming it's possible. Can't double check to see if I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm not. Okay, so the direction I want to go is east or southeast. This direction I just came in though when I was popping all the yeah okay well you know what that's gonna be a problem for another time not a problem, but you know what I mean. We'll figure this out next time we play. I feel like, yeah, we got a couple things done. We got access to that area above the city behind that was blocked off by the thorns. You know, we set fire to something that cleared a path. We took down Bale. We took down the... Whoops, I think these guys might be getting a little close. Nope, maybe not. We took down the uh, Caterpillar Nightmare, which allowed us to set fire to the thorns that were blocking a gate. So I feel like we've uh, made some real progress. Um... Yeah, I don't know. So we'll figure it out. Uh, so thank you again. This has been Black Lodge Trivia Night. Um, usually we are a tabletop RPG actual play podcast. If you prefer audio versions of those or our occasional RPG discussion podcast, just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night wherever you get where we get those, and uh, we should show up. If you're watching this, then you've already found our YouTube channel. You know, like, subscribe if you want. Leave comments. Uh, regardless, we hope you enjoyed it. If you want to chat CRPGs or RPGs. You can jump into our Discord. There should be a link somewhere on this page. So, yeah, we're currently doing a couple of different CRPGs at the time of this recording. It's mid-September. We're doing... Uh, Patrick's doing some Eat the Reich. I'm doing some Cold War espionage. And I think Matt is prepping some spooky Delta Green. So, on the main front, the tabletop front, that's what we're looking at. Um, otherwise... Thanks again for checking this out, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Take care.